All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of May the 22nd, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you as always. And Michaela, this week uh, we had Fast X uh, came out. That's pretty exciting. Uh, that's a good time from what I hear. Uh, but we're not talking about that. This week we were talking about Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, and for uh, those of you that don't know at home, spoiler warning, Lawrence of Arabia is a bit long. So if I'm going to make it through that tonight, Michaela, I'm going to have to have something with a bit of caffeine in it. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh... I picked this because we it was a request. We, I was talking to one of my favorite people, Mick Collins, if you're listening, uh, and your lovely wife. Thank you for listening. Um, they were telling me about their favorite films, and he picked Lawrence of Arabia. And I was like, I had not seen it. And so I was like, we should totally cover this. And so we did. We found a really cool cocktail, and I can't wait to talk about it. Uh, but we hadn't – well, I don't know if you had, but I had never seen this. And then I <laughs> looked it up, and it's it's quite long. It's quite quite long. It's very <laughs> epic. It better be really epic because it's like three hours and 40 minutes long. There's like an intermission because it was made in 1962 or something. And they had one theater at this time. So, yeah, we're going to need something with some pep to keep through that. That's that's right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the runtime uh, does us in. But I do have a cocktail that's going to be perfect for it. I think, Michaela, this is what we need uh, to get us going today. And it's a riff on one of my favorite drinks, you know, the old fashioned. It's a, a very classic drink and it'll pair nicely with the uh, the classic film we're about to watch. But this one has a bit of a chocolatey uh, coffee kick to it. So check this out, Michaela. So we're going to take a uh, rocks glass. Put a nice large ice cube into that, and we're going to put in there one and a half ounces of bourbon, or you could do a uh, blended scotch because that's what we're going to be using for the episode this week. So one and a half ounces of uh, pick your uh, favorite uh, whiskey, a half ounce of dark creme de cacao, one ounce of chilled espresso, or you could use uh, like a cold brew coffee, uh, an ounce of that, a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Two dashes of orange bitters. Uh, go ahead and give that a stir. And then you can drop in if you've got a couple of coffee beans uh, just in there. They're going to float alongside of that uh, ice cube. Look pretty. Give you a nice kind of coffee roasty hit on the nose and uh, sip and enjoy. It's rich. It's chocolatey. It's coffee. -y. It's going to keep me awake for four hours. I hope. I hope. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's going to need to. Um, I really like this. I don't let the orange bitters fool you. If you're listening at home and you're like, oof, um, there was a drink that Starbucks made called a Mocha Valencia, and it was basically like a char chocolate orange latte. Okay, this is not that. It's just a hint of the citrus note, um, which makes me happy because I didn't want it to be too sweet. It is rich and um expressive for being espresso uh it's great this is this is really good and i know it's getting warm out um but it's chilled espresso so it's fine yeah it's totally fine yeah absolutely uh yes yeah, so this uh this might be a little bit more warming i wouldn't want to have one of these you know sitting outside poolside or something like that but it's going to be perfect uh end of the evening especially this time of year you know we're still kind of in late spring it's not quite summer yet so uh maybe you're having like a like a fire pit situation going on that's this would be perfect for that to have a little bit of uh the little bit of chocolate and a little bit of coffee there with your old fashioned and uh definitely going to pair up nicely with at least the first act or so of uh, lawrence of arabia when we get into that tonight but that's not what we're here to talk about in the lobby bar uh, that's coming on the main show this week. We are here to talk about the box office results. Fast X, I alluded to it. It led the way with $67.5 million, followed by Guardians of the Galaxy number three, Super Mario Brothers, Book Club, and Evil Dead Rise. So $67.5 million, pretty good coming out of the gate there for Fast X. Everyone says it's a fun time. What do you think, Michaela? I think that uh, we should probably go watch Fast X. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it into the theaters because we've got a bunch of other things happening, but... I've heard really good things, which I'm sort of surprised at. I don't know. I, I, this had this this group of movies has such a following. It's mm, crazy mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. me um, because, as we've talked about before, they kind of pump out a new film every two two and a half years, and uh, and, and Michelle Rodriguez looks exactly the same as she did in 2020 tw or 2001. I think she's a vampire. Um, that's yeah. all I'm going to say. So yeah, yeah Her, I, Vin Diesel looks the same. Basically. Yeah. I, well, yeah. They, they all do. And it's very weird. I, I, maybe, maybe this one is the ones where it comes out. Not only do they steal cars and like jump out of planes and stuff, but they're also vampires. That would be, that would be a good twist. And then you could <laughs> definitely have like a hundred more fast and furiouses. 
fast a fast 11 the rise of the vampires uh yeah for sure um and those who don't know uh vin diesel also uh voices our beloved Groot. so fast x and guardians vin diesel is on top of the world uh quite literally here this week so 67 and a half million dollars good job there super mario brothers uh, movie is up to like 1.2 billion dollars worldwide it's like uh like 22nd or something um in the all-time box office standing so super mario is not showing any signs of slowing down there either but we've got another one coming out this week that's going to appeal to to uh, the kids out there the adults the kids at heart uh kind of everyone michaela you know this uh this story is resonates with our generation because we had the uh, beloved animated film uh from walt disney studios and that is the little mermaid the live action remake comes out uh this week we're planning to go see it and cover it on the show for next week but you looking forward to this one michaela who's your favorite who's your favorite fish in the sea is it sebastian the crab is it flounder uh is it is it ursula could be ursula i don't know for sure uh what do you think um uh this is hard flounder is just the cutest i just i think he's adorable um the stork seagull guy who's just an idiot he's really fun (laughs) um ursula though as i've gotten older i think i'm more of an ursula girl because she's Mm. just so awful and her attitude is great and i love melissa mccarthy so i really can't wait to see how this goes um her her makeup is insane. I'm just gonna say that it's it's it. Yeah, I'm excited about Ursula and that whole piece to it. Um, yeah. What about you? Are you are you a Sebastian or Flounder person? No, uh, no Flounder. Flounder is my Flounder is my favorite for sure. Um, that is a, that is a seagull. It's not a stork. I don't know where you're even talking about uh, with <laughs> that anymore. But but Little Mermaid is pretty fun. Looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to see the underwater stuff because I am a big fan of fishes and aquariums and being underwater. Uh, myself so i think that that'll be fun to see how they how they do that and pull that off and what it all looks like so i'm uh, going to be talking little mermaid next week but this week we've got lawrence of arabia coming we are uh diving into the classic of classics with a classic cocktail so make sure you stay tuned for that and michaela we gotta go because lawrence of arabia long long we gotta start press play right now yeah uh, to get okay. going if we're gonna if we're gonna watch it and talk about it and cover it uh by thursday so let's do that mix up another one of these uh coffee old fashions and We'll talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.